Hey, you're a sight for sore eyes. How you doing, everybody? Mike Rondo uh, in the Shed of Solitude. It's been, I think, almost two weeks since I've done a video. I think, or at least nine days. I think nine days since I've done a video. Uh, and the reason being is because I actually, I came down with COVID. My last video, uh, I came down with COVID that night, um, which was weird. Uh, I didn't want to make a big thing about it, but... I did make a post last night <clears throat> saying I'll be back to do a video. Um, but that Saturday, uh, I think it even mentioned in the video, we went to my daughter's soccer game and uh, it was just cold, windy, and I couldn't warm up. I came home, still couldn't warm up, and later that night I got fever, chills, and uh, that was the end of that. <clears throat> so excuse me if I cough a little. Uh, I'm still, I got that cough that just isn't going to go away anytime soon and if I talk a lot my voice gets a little little haggard and I uh, have to cough so I'll try to edit that out and I'll try to keep it as much of a minimum as I possibly can but COVID wasn't bad for me um, the worst was probably that Saturday night I got my I got the fever I got the chills um <clears throat> and after that Sunday it was just the fever really uh, it took me until about Tuesday to get the fever kind of under, you know, it, it was manageable. But it, if I hadn't been taking pills and stuff, I would have, it wouldn't have been good. Um, and, but anyway, I was fine. The worst of it was really my nose just dripping constantly for about four days, five days and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, last weekend I tried to cut the grass and that sapped my energy. Like I was fine doing it, but after I was done, my body was like, yeah, you, you're not doing much of anything else uh, later. So uh, it was a bit rough, but not too bad. Um, pretty mild. Uh, of course, there's a bit of a, <laughs> a debate in the family of who gave it to who. I blame my daughter because I think she got it from school, gave it to me, and uh, <coughs> she blames me, says I, I gave it to her from work. But, you know, I had a good run two years and like a month, and uh, it finally found me. So unfortunately, uh, I got the COVID, but that's over and done with for now. Uh, but tonight, we're going to do Saint Espresso by Cornell and Deal and Warped. This is another one of their uh, collaborations. Um, now, I was just looking at this, and uh, the guy on the front on this, this label here looks like Charles Darwin to me. Uh, so I'm going to go with that. I don't think that's it there. Let's see... Uh, uh, distinct Cavendish variants, whatever that is. Uh, steamed and toasted, okay. Combined to evoke a uh, velvety body and rich flavor. Uh, of fine espresso. <coughs> Apologies. Uh, let's see. Evening dessert, which is good because I'm doing this at night, which is kind of weird to have an espresso. Uh, at like almost nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Uh, it just says black, black Cavendish, uh, aromatic. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's about it. Doesn't say anything else. Cornell and Deal warning label, uh, and all that stuff. And this was, uh, tinned on five, five, 22. So very, very recent. So, uh, Let's give this a crack. I'm trying to see if I can smell anything. Nope. Gotta crack this tin open. Let's let's do one of these. It's been a while. Now I haven't watched any reviews. Haven't uh in case you guys are into the wrapper here. That's what it looks like. Um I don't know who's on the cover. It's gotta be somebody something to do with espresso some saint that made coffee or espresso I, I just don't know it off the top of my head which is odd because i'm a, kind of a history buff okay well it smells cavendish i wouldn't say i wouldn't say uh anything coffee like typical almost like um Oh, what's the blend from uh, Boswell? A very muted version of 
No bite delight. Kind of like that. I don't get an espresso. I'm just saying this is a tin note. I haven't smoked it yet, obviously. So, but uh, that's the beautiful thing I, I, with COVID. I didn't lose my taste or smell, and I was worried about that because I had, you know, I get some tobacco I want to try, and I was like, oh boy. Um, and the other reason I didn't do a video um, anytime last week, obviously, I was still recovering from that. And then early in the week, I probably could have did videos, but I kind of wanted to. Uh, rest up the body a little but yeah i'm mostly getting just the the cavendish kind of smell and kind of like a no bite delight sense uh and funny because well let me get a scoop out here Let's see if we break it up see if we can no not really getting any of that, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, and No Bite Delight is one of my favorites, so that's good. So look at the uh, stuff here. It's not uh, it's not goopy, uh, which surprises me. It's pretty um, pretty good actually. It's not it's not as uh, wet as I thought it would it was going to be. Load this bad boy up here. So far, it's not bad. Hopefully, I get some notes out of this. We'll see. All right, I think that I think that'll do. All right, let's uh, fire this bad boy up. Uh, let's see. What are we getting in the air here? Hmm. This will be interesting with the still kind of coughing um, aspect. Uh, I was a little hesitant to even do this coming out here. Um, I felt good most of the day, but as I talk, it, now and then my I just got a cough. And I was a little hesitant because, one, I didn't want to cough you guys to death. And and uh, I wasn't sure how the smoke was going to go with all of this here. Um, so, but anyway, it's been a while since I've had a, a, a smoke. Hopefully it's enjoyable. Now I'm getting I wouldn't say any kind of like espresso or coffee kind of note at least not yet I've got a little tr trouble lighting it here Okay, I got something a little sweet. But this reminds me a lot like No Bite Delight. And I don't know if that's weird. Maybe it's me. Uh, maybe that's just me smelling the tin and it's just stuck in my head. But... It's not a bad thing. It's like a very, uh, like a muted version of that. And No Bite Delight isn't really overpowering or anything like that. But Boswell stuff is on the very, on the sweeter side of things, right? Um, this is kind of, I think, a little more subtle. Um,
No, no, no coffee notes, no nothing of, uh, of the sort at the moment. But I do like it. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have <coughs> done that, so I apologize. See, I'm not completely ready to get into this uh, type of stuff, but we must press on, right? There's something... Something there. It's like a. Uh, I don't want to say like a. It's it's kind of like a sweetness. Kind of like a. But it's like a. What's the word? Maybe like a bitter. Like bitter chocolate. <laughs> Apologize. It sounds like I got like emphysema here, and I don't. I'm going to take a break in the video here. I'm going to smoke this for a little bit, and I'll come back to you, give my final thoughts on it, um, maybe ease the coughing a little bit, um, and give you my final thoughts on it. Well, I have to say, I like it. I'm going to need more time with this. Uh, especially coming back from COVID, um, <clears throat> I'm able to pick up flavors and notes and and whatnot. To me, it's very much like a uh, no bite delight, um, but a bit of like that bitter sweet kind of chocolate cocoa kind of note going uh, for it, um, and it's good. I like it, but considering I'm still dealing with the after effects of COVID, I, I feel like I can't give it complete justice. <clears throat> and you may hear my voice, it's a little uh, ragged, uh, if you will. Um, but I do like it. I'm looking forward to doing a second time around with this fairly soon. It smokes really well. I certainly would enjoy this quite a bit, and I, I think I will. Um, considering warped is involved, I'm assuming there's like a cigar, cigar leaf in here somewhere. Hmm, maybe. I think the smoke is kind of aggravating things, so I cough a little bit more, and it's not as good as an experience as I thought it was going to be. It's still good that I smoked and was able to have a video and talk to you guys. I don't think I'll be doing a video the next two days, not because of the COVID stuff and all that, <clears throat> mostly because of the uh, <laughs> the heat that's coming, and I haven't figured out my air condition or cooling situation here in the shed. It's going to be about 90 degrees the next two days. Um, so I won't be doing a video, but, um, I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this upcoming week, of course, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, of course, being a holiday, I'll have content coming out. So there will be videos. It's just not going to be, <laughs> and I might even do one Monday or Tuesday too, if it's cooler. I think it's going to be cooler. So, 
But as far as this goes, uh, I know a bunch of you got it. I've seen people comment when I posted the other day. If anyone picked it up, I know you guys po picked it up. Some of you were really excited. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet or if you've waited. Maybe you're waiting for my review. I apologize that I couldn't give a... Uh, I, want, I don't want to say a... Well, it is an official review, but I, I, don't want, I don't think I could give this one full justice, so to speak, due to my lingering effects of COVID. But I do, from what I have experienced, I do enjoy it. Uh, I like the notes that I'm getting, although they're very hard to really get and you know the coughing doesn't help so but i i'm curious what you guys think do you guys like this one um i imagine you guys would this is a pretty good one but i'm getting like that <laughs> maybe it's weird it's like a amaretto chocolate kind of thing going Or maybe COVID really did screw up my taste buds, and I don't know. But it smokes really good. And once I got the lighting going, it, it really not many uh, relights. It's a good one. I look forward to trying this in, uh, <coughs> again, seeing what I think about it in... Uh, discussing it with all of you but anyway that's gonna do it for now i will see you guys relatively soon i won't be disappearing like last time but uh i do say pick yourself up a tin if you can i know it's limited i believe it's you know small batch type stuff um uh saint espresso uh from warped and uh cornell deal definitely try it um it's not bad uh, what is this? 152 out of 3,000. So there you go. There's there's my number right right there. That's pretty good. I think that's one of the lowest numbers I've ever gotten. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for opening it. I didn't even look at the other 10. Probably should have did that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Take care. I uh, hope you're all well, and I will see you guys soon.